Hi, it's Rich here from Geeks of Rage, and today we're playing the Lawbreakers Alpha, as you can see in big letters there under construction. Um, yep, this has been uh, quite limited for this particular alpha. It was just a server test, so uh, we've only got the Turf War um, game mode to play today, but um, you'll get to see uh, a fair amount of how the game, game works. Um, the big thing about this game is that it was made by Cliff Blazinski who is uh, of Unreal Tournament fame, yes, he created the first Unreal Tournament, and uh, he then went on and did Gears of War. So, you know, massive, massive games from him that we were, we were expecting good things from Lawbreakers. Um, I'll let you make your own mind up, but here's the characters. Uh, we've got Toscan 9 there, Kintaro, um, Kronos, and this fucking slag on the end Kitsune or Kitsune whatever her name is um, I can't stand her and we'll, you'll see why later okay so Kintaro he gets this sprint ability and um, he's got uh, an auto rifle there an automatic rifle um, and also this weird grenade thing that he can throw that doesn't really seem to fucking do much um, I think it just uh, it kind of bounces people around or something I have no idea anyway um thing about this game, as you can see, we're dancing around in low gravity, shooting people. Um, the skill ceiling is very, very high, which is a good thing, don't get me wrong. I like games with high skill ceilings. Uh, and you'll see as this video progresses, most of the time all I do is just die. Um, and most of the time it's due to that kis Kitsune slag. Um, for some reason, they've made her ridiculously hard. Maybe it's just the Turf War game mode that makes it so ridiculously um, weighted in her favour. But, oh, yeah, you'll, you'll get to see. See that girl with the blue hair? Those two combat. girls with the blue hair. Five, That's Kitsune. Four, well. Kitsune. Three, um, two, and one. I think at one point I go to change character and like everybody on my team is playing other. It's just so weighted in her favour, it's unreal. She can see she's got this grapple hook. She can not just grapple um, the terrain, but she can also grapple enemies and drag them in um, into her blades and then just carve them up. And it, it, just a couple of hits, really, and somebody's dead. I mean, you can see there, she just carves someone up. Um, Three, the low gravity two, thing one. is a great idea, but it just means. Anybody with uh, a ranged weapon is automatically uh, on the back foot. So this Kitsune guy is just knackered. Here we go, look, see. I'll approach this capture point, drop my grenade, just fuck all, shoot for a little bit and I'm dead. <laughs> so th this, this tends to happen a lot. She's got a lot of life for what should really be a very squishy character in my opinion. Still, still, I'm not completely hating on the game. I mean, it looks gorgeous, does it not? This is gonna burn like hell. Um, it is the Unreal 4 engine. Sorry. Yeah, the latest Unreal engine. So, um, it does, it looks mint. But this turf war mode, Three, the idea is to two, capture these objectives. One. As you can see, my team have one, the enemy team has two. Uh, the zone's all locked. I get into the zone and I'm immediately dead. So that particular zone, if that woman is on there, you, you're pretty much fucked. Because as soon as you get into that zone to try and capture it, you have to get onto the point in order to contest it. She's just going to carve you up. There's no point standing at a distance trying to kill her before you attack the point, because the point's already captured by them. Um, because she takes so much food. You can see there, I'm absolutely nailing this bird. And they just keep you know, it just keeps coming, keeps coming. So there we go. Fuck that guy up. Yeah, saw it. I'm contesting it, and then I blew myself up. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I got killed by somebody with a shotgun. Okay, that's fair. That's fair enough. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't convinced by this. I'm uh, still and it's not just leading. because I suck at it, and I do suck at it. I admit that. Um, it's, it's just it doesn't seem balanced. Now, Blazinski, uh, when he talks about this game, talks about how much he desperately wants to make it balanced. He wants it to be the next eSport. Um, if so, 
uh, I think these games still need some work. I would like to see what the other game modes are like, to be perfectly honest, because uh, I'm sure that there are going to be game modes that that completely out. You know, that bird with the uh, with the swords is not going to be particularly useful on. So anyway, I've uh, I've picked this other character now. Can't remember her name. She's got a rocket launcher. Yeah, brilliant. You'd think. Not in a zero G game <laughs> where everybody's in the air. You're gonna try and score a direct hit with a rocket launcher? Not gonna happen. Um, yeah, this is a bad idea. <laughs> All around. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. But see, look, I'm second on. I'm actually second on my team. I played a number of games of this. Um, I didn't win a single game. No. May, you know, you, you might attribute that to the reason why I don't particularly like it, but I suck at Rocket League too, and I can't stop playing it. Three, yeah, so, two, you know, one. it's one of those things. See this, this bitch? Dead again. Dead again. She just keeps coming. I don't know how much life she's got. She just keeps on coming. Uh, and obviously in other games, I, um, away from winning. I have played as this Kitsune bird, and they were the only, that was the only time I ever actually started scoring kills was when I played as her. Um, maybe she's just a little bit too easy to play as. Uh, I don't know. Um, so, yeah, as you can see here, I'm trying to use my other weapons. Oh, I'll have a kill someone. Fuck it up. Check me out. Badass. This, yeah, obviously I uh, I didn't mess about trying to record um, voice while I played this game for the first time. Although this wasn't actually my first game. Um, I did just record the, uh, the video and then uh, did the voice over afterwards. Purely because um, it was noisy <laughs> when I was playing the game. But um, yeah. It feels very Unreal Tournament-esque, but it does Three, not two, play one. as I would expect in a Unreal Tournament game. I know it's not. Uh, I know it's not a Unreal Tournament, I understand that. But you can see how Blizzinski feels about this kind of game. So there you go. Defeated. Absolutely pissed on. 13-3. I seem to remember as well, uh, it's difficult for me to actually get into another game because we were coming to the end of the alpha and therefore dropping into another game was, it was a, a difficult thing to do so it all now popped me into like a pre-match and I think I ended up staying in the pre-match for uh, the rest of the video. Um, I did actually kill people then, it was uh, someone playing as that girl but when you've only got that girl to concentrate on it's not quite as difficult especially with our stuck to the open areas Kitsune. there you go everybody's playing as her <laughs> so we pick a different we'll go back to Kitsune Kintaro. to uh, Kintaro nothing to do with um, Mortal Kombat see if they had actually put Mortal Kombat's Kintaro in here yeah maybe this would be a better game still still stop bitching stop bitching Rich just get on with it I will definitely be playing some more Lawbreakers. I want this game to be good. Um, I want it to be another Unreal Tournament. I'm just not convinced about this Zero Gravity sure stuff. Taken over. Um, without the Zero G stuff, it would probably be easier to hit that girl with the uh, with the swords, and would therefore maybe make it a bit of an easier game. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's not just her. They're killed by other people as well, though. But. Yeah, you'll see here, because we're still waiting for players and we end up waiting for players till the rest till the end of the video really. Um I just go around hunting. Uh oh, see that rocket launcher pop up in the corner of the screen. Because this is a, a, a hero shooter, yes, another hero shooter, yet another hero shooter. Um that is, everybody has a special ability and they Kintaro's special ability is to be able to shoot the rockets. Um, they just lock you on. See that? Take down. They're not particularly useful. 
9-0G when people are moving around all over the place. Uh, they're not quite quick enough, so they don't really reach their target fast enough. Um, so yeah, not the best of special abilities. Um, I'm, a, I'm a bit of a fan of the hero shooter genre. Seems to have absolutely exploded since Overwatch was released. Uh, and, uh, that's just all we see now is just hero shooter after hero shooter. But I quite like the idea of these hero shooters. Um, they, they just. They kind of take all the shit out of Deathmatch. I wouldn't want all first person shooters to turn into hero shooters, don't get me wrong. But. Uh, I just. I, I like the fact that it, you can pick a character, you haven't got to piss about with weapons, um, you know what they're, what they're going to be able to do, uh, and you, you, you pick one to suit your playstyle. It's a cool idea. It is a cool idea. This is gonna burn. This Star Wars, yeah. There you go, there's my rockets. That was really poorly executed, and so it didn't work. But. Yeah, she's not very good. See, normally they just hook you with that grappling hook thing and you're fucked. Absolutely fucked. So, what do you think of Lawbreakers? Maybe you should let us know, come back to us, leave some feedback in the comments. Um, give it a try. I mean, it's, it will be entering open beta quite soon, I think. Um, at which point, yeah, everybody's going to be able to have a jam on it. See what they think. I'd like to see what the other game modes are. I don't actually know at the minute. But, um, whatever happened to capture the flag? I mean, that was one of the greatest things about uh, TFC and TF2. Capture the flag games were brilliant. <laughs> and yet, we don't see, I haven't seen a single hero shooter, one of the modern hero shooters that actually has capture the flag in it. Come on, guys, sort it out. <laughs> Capture the flag. It's brilliant. Great idea. It's worked for generations. Why they all of a sudden stop doing it? God knows. Just showing off the um, the graphics now. This is the new Unreal Engine. I mean, it is just awesome, isn't it? Look at that. You Gorgeous. lose. What an awesome, awesome looking game. Still. Room for improvement, Blazinski. Come on. I'd like to see some sort of improvement made anyway. Um, anyway, I've been Rich. This has been Lawbreakers. And uh, you've been watching Geeks of Rage. Thank you very much for wa watching. Please check us out on Twitter, Geeks of Rage. The O is a zero. And uh, come back for some more videos. Thanks for watching.